One of my top Canva tutorials is a video about the bulk create feature. Now that Canva's had a glow up, it's time to revisit this strategy. In this video, I will walk you through how to use AI to make graphics with data in Canva. Without further ado, let's hop in. The Canva Bulk Create tool is a fantastic way for you to save time designing. However, it is only available on the desktop version of Canva and for Canva Pro users. So if you are currently using a free version of Canva and you would like to try this free for 30 days, go to lashondabrown.com slash Canva to claim your free 30-day trial of Canva Pro. In previous Canva tutorials, I've shown you how to use Bulk Create to create business cards and how to use Magic Write with Bulk Create to create social media graphics. Both of those will be linked in the description. In this video, I want to show you how to utilize ChatGPT, Excel, and Canva to create graphics to market your YouTube videos. If you aren't aware, I have a membership community designed to help service providers to work less and live more by leveraging tech and YouTube. And a common problem I see in the membership is people are looking to drive more traffic to their YouTube videos to increase their leads. So if you find yourself in this situation, this tutorial is for you. So there is a format of YouTube videos called listicles where you share a list of tips or tricks or hacks to help people in a certain topic. So for this example, we are going to utilize this particular video that gives you 15 tips to level up your live streams with StreamYard. So to get started, I want to hop over to the video. One of the extensions that I have installed in my browser allows me to grab the transcript of any video by looking on the right-hand side of YouTube. This extension was created by GLASP and it is called YouTube Summary with ChatGPT and Cloud. So I will link this in the description as well. All you need to do is install it into your browser and then you will have access to transcripts directly inside of YouTube without having to hop into another program. So in order for me to leverage Bulk Create, I need to give it some data to pull from to create my graphics. So in this case, I'm going to look in the top right-hand corner and click on the drop down arrow, and that is going to reveal the transcript thanks to that Chrome extension. From there, I'm going to hover and copy the transcript. So instead of me having to watch that 20 minute video and pull out the tips for my graphics, utilizing that extension saves me a ton of time. Inside of ChatGPT, I want to tell it to summarize this YouTube video script and create 15 tips for leveling up your live streams. Now, I like to do my prompts in sections. If you want to list all of the steps in one prompt, you can do that as well. But essentially, you're going to give it this starting prompt and then paste in your transcript from YouTube. So ChatGPT will process that 20 minute transcript and then it's going to give me 15 tips that I can use in a carousel post. Now the carousel post can be used on both LinkedIn and Instagram if you happen to have an account there as well. But essentially this is going to create a blog style post that people can click through and see one tip per slide. Prompting ChatGPT to format this as a table will keep you from having to select each specific tip and then paste it into a spreadsheet. So what I typed in was now take these 15 tips and convert them into a table with two columns. Column one, tip, and column two, tip description. Now you have the content that you'll need to paste into any spreadsheet tool that you'd like. I would highly recommend highlighting the table and copying and pasting it that way versus clicking on the copy icon underneath the content. If you do it this way, it will save the formatting. I find this technique to be faster in bulk create than importing your data manually. If you decide to upload a file, it needs to be formatted as a CSV, Excel spreadsheet, or a TSV format. Now that we have the content for our design, we need to choose a template. You can go inside of Canva and select Instagram posts to choose from that library. You can also type into the search bar carousel posts and select it there to filter the Instagram post templates. But in this case, I want to utilize a past design that I've created in order for me to drop the content in. So I'll just simply duplicate a past design and single out where I want the content to appear. 
To duplicate a past design, hover over your design until the three dots appear, click in the top right-hand corner, and then click on Make a Copy. From there, you want to go ahead and rename your design. I will name this one 15 Tips for Live Streams, and then open up the design. From there, you want to choose one of your slides in order for Canva to know where to drop the information in. So I'm gonna click in the bottom right-hand corner and select the grid view to show me everything contained in this particular design. And then I will choose a format. So in this case, I am going to choose this one. So I'll just place it in the front and then double click to open it up. From there, I need to locate Bolt Create. The quickest way to get there is to look on the left-hand side and you'll see Bolt Create here. If you don't see this on the left-hand panel, you can find it by clicking on Apps. From there, you'll see more from Canva and Bolt Create should be visible at that point. So the first step is to add our data. You can quickly create hundreds of pages from popular data sources like Excel and CSV files, or you can enter the data manually. Again, manually is going to take a lot of time, so we are going to upload our data. Once you add your data, you need to tell Canva where to drop in the data in your design. So you'll click on Continue, and then you will connect your data to the elements of your design. To do that, hover over the element. So in this case, it's a text box. Then click on the three dots and connect data. From there, you'll select Tip. Now we'll click on this element. Same thing, click on those three dots and we'll connect to data and say tip description. Once the two data fields have been added, click on continue. Make sure that everything that you want Canva to create is selected and then generate your designs by clicking on the generate button at the bottom. Once Canva has dropped in your information, you will see a brand new design appear. And the top, you'll see that the file is renamed bulk one to signify that this was created using bulk create and then you can modify your design from there before you export it to be used on LinkedIn. The last thing I wanna share is if you click on the share icon, instead of you downloading the individual images, you'll want to download it as a PDF and you'll upload the PDF to LinkedIn so it's easier for you to thumb through the design instead of seeing each individual image uploaded as a gallery. If you wanna see more of a step-by-step -step process for how to do that, you can click on the link in the description or the link at the end of this video. I hope this helps you to create carousel posts to repurpose your YouTube content. And if you have any more suggestions for Canva tutorials, let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you don't already have Canva Pro and you would like to get access to a free 30-day trial while supporting the channel, go to lashondabrown.com slash Canva. Until next time, ta-ta for now.